G'day guys, this is Paul from Polyman Astro. Now you'll notice I'm out on the road today. I'm not actually in the studio. Uh, I'm heading about three and a half hours from home to a dark sky site. My local astronomy club have found this dark sky site that we think might be ideal. Uh, so we're going to go check it out today and, and hope that we uh, get some great skies. Uh, and if we do, then we can use it more often. Now the locals, I think, are just as excited to see us as we are. They're putting on dinners and lunches for us. And they're going to spend a few hours tonight with the visual astronomers checking out some of the Southern Hemisphere gems. Guys, I'm here. Um, I'm all set up. You can see my setup in the background. Um, if I turn around a little bit, you can see that we've got quite clear skies still at the moment, at least till 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. Uh, we'll see how things go. Uh, hopefully it stays clear. Tomorrow's looking a bit dodgy, but you know, we'll all hang out and have a good time. Anyway, I'll get back to finalising my setup. We're going to have some dinner, and then we can try an image. Right, I'm back. This is my... Uh, set up for the night. Got a nice little mattress in the back, two sleeping bags, some pillows right near my mount. Got my esky with all my drinks in it. Should be good. Alright, so the sun's starting to set um, and it still looks fairly cloud free at the moment which hopefully means we're in for a good night. I'm trying to think of good targets so I'm sitting here on my new MacBook Pro uh, and Stellarium and having a look around and I think I've found one. Um, it's Rho Ophiuchus. Now on my system I can't get the super wide field uh, with Antares and everything in it because I've got the 183 sensor. My, my telescope will fit it in frame, but my, my camera won't. Um, so I'm going for Roa Fuki itself, which is the, the blue nebula, and hopefully that'll come out quite nice in the frame um, and we'll end up with a good image. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll have a look and we'll see. Well, it's the next morning. Um, what a night! Uh, the clouds started rolling in about 7 o'clock, right when we were doing some polar aligning, uh, which made it really difficult. Um, and it clouded out at 9 o'clock, just like the weather report said it was going to. Uh, so we all wandered down the, the, the hall and had some coffees and sat around having a chat with the heaters on, uh, which was nice because it was about, uh, by that point it was probably only about 4 degrees, uh, but it got to 1 degree overnight. And then someone happened to stick their head out about 11 o'clock and said it was clear. So we all raced up the top and set up our gear. Um, I got 30 minutes each of RGB uh, before a mer meridian flip. And then um, did my flats quickly, set up luminance for the rest of the night. And then by 2 o'clock, I think it was in the morning, it was still clear. Um, I was tired so and it was 1 degree, so I jumped into bed and uh, woke up this morning and checked. And um, I'd got an extra, I think it was 2.5 hours of luminance, so that's not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that, given it was supposed to cloud out. Um, I'm in the car at the moment because it's quite windy outside. I tried to film outside. Um, it was warm though. I had a t-shirt on, but the, the since then it's uh, got chilly again. So I've got a jumper on sitting here in the, the car uh, around all my gear. Um, I'll, I'll give you a sneak peek at uh, what I've been imaging anyway and see, see what you think. Well, I'm back in the car again. It's quite cold outside. Um, and it's completely clouded up now. Um, it's supposed to stay cloudy all night. Uh, we'll wait and see, see how it goes, but not holding out much hope. Well, last night was a bust. Um, it clouded out pretty early during the day. Um, so in the evening we went down, had some dinner, hung out in the hall where the fire was on so it was nice and warm. 
had good chats, um, had some coffees, had some beers, um, and then about 11 o'clock, same as the first night kind of, it, it kind of cleared. So the two of us that hadn't packed everything up already headed up the top, um, turned my system on, started cooling the camera, and before that it even happened to cloud it out again. So I thought, well, it's already cooled down now, I may as well do something. So I started running some darks, and I don't have too many darks because I normally run narrowband. So I let that run, and we were probably an hour into that, and it started to sprinkle. Well, that might just be an Australian term. Um, sprinkle means that, that there was light rain. So I uh, covered up the, the system, um, got to 20 darks, and by then it was unfortunately raining a bit heavier. So I had to pack everything up and hope that it didn't get too wet, and um, it didn't look like it was going to get any better, so I just went to bed. I uh, did capture a time lapse on my uh, mirrorless camera, as you can see. You can see the clouds come rolling in and it stops just before it started to rain. Anyway, I'm on my way home now. Um, if the images came out, then you'll see them on the screen shortly, um, and there'll be a processing video to come.